All right, so here we go again where probably I have the camera sitting too close to me and not far. Oh, look, that actually works really well. You can see both me and Mr. Ernest in really good focus. Much better than we have been doing, right? Right. Oh, we'll have to remember this, this one. This is like the perfect amount of distance. So, Mr. Ernest, he just did a phenomenal job with his barrier challenge. I know, hi sweetheart. I see you. He is such a beautiful cafe au lait. I'm pretty sure that's what he's going to end up being. I mean, he didn't really have a whole lot of lightning at, at the first face shave, but at four weeks, it's really, really hard to see that difference. Maybe at six weeks we'll see more if not he's gonna be a beautiful brown and you don't see a whole lot of deep brown so either way he's absolutely gorgeous whether he's gonna be a cafe au lait like his mama or he's gonna be a dark brown I, he's just beautiful I love this color if I had not already bought a couple of stud dogs this year he would be staying here because I mean, I, I personally just really, really love brown. Brown poodles are just so beautiful, and they're not super common. So, you know, even more reason why I just really, really like them. And then he's got a phenomenal little temperament, too. He's he's not real feisty like, like Bessie can be, but he's really active, and he just has a lot of personality. Not that he looks like it right now, because I woke him up from his nap. Say hi, everyone. Nope. I don't want to say hi to nobody. So, here he is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there, you're in focus. Look at that. Who knew? Who knew I could figure it out all by myself? I know. And then he does this. He does this thing where he snuggles in and he cuddles you. Oh, yes, he cuddles. Mm. 